Peace, peace, family. What's good? It's your brother, God Science. I'm up in here once again. Shout out and a special salute to the few that can watch the video, subscribe, leave the comments, and chop it up with me. I really appreciate y'all. Hope y'all doing great. You know, uh, whatever struggles y'all going to, keep on going, man. There's a, there's a light at the end of all the bullshit. Just want to give that message out to, you know, the people that do stick around and listen to what I got to say. And speaking of, um, I want to talk about this, uh, the nation of gods and earths and something that I've learned. You know, if you listen to in the conscious community, you have a certain few that teach the black woman is God. You have a certain few that teach, well, you know, um, the teachings that I learned growing up is, as you can see down here, the black man is God, Allah, whatever you want to call it arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Now, when I first heard this, blew my mind. Never heard it before. It sounds like blasphemy for me because I came from, you know, a Christian background. My mom was a Christian, hardcore Christian. My grandmother was a hardcore Christian. I mean, every Sunday we were going to church. Me and my brother, we used to make up all kinds of lies. Um, got a hole in my pants. Uh, my pants is dirty. Yeah think I'm getting a fever. <laughs> oh, no, you're going to church. I don't give a damn how sick you is you going to church. But as I grew older, I thank her for forcing me to go to church because it made me what I am today. It made me see, you know, the bullshit that these uh, religion teach. And I always had answers, uh, you know, questions every Sunday that I wanted to sit down with the pastor and talk about. And it came to a point that when I was able to talk to the pastor and ask him some questions, he would, you know, you know, don't question God. God knows what he's doing and he will run his ass off to the point that every time I come into church and he sees my face, he's like, oh, Lord, here go this motherfucker. And he'll turn and go the other way. So as a, at a young age, I learned that these people that had the answers but when I found the Nation of Gods and Earths and really started studying it, it was a stage where I was going through where a lot of us go through it. We're just learning this new information and we just wanted to tell everybody I'm God, the way it sounded, the supreme alphabets, the supreme mathematics, the code that you can talk to, talk to another God in, like it's a, your own language and somebody else that's not hip to it or know what the hell you're talking about. The coolness of the gods back in the days, how they used to be standing on the corners with their arms folded, dropping science, you know, and it, it was just something cool about it. That's why some people consider it a gang, but it's far from a gang. But in reality, what is a gang? You know, a group of black people get together, they call that a gang. But the point is, I was just fascinated about the the knowledge that I was learning, but I wasn't practicing it. And that's what I came that's one of the supreme realizations that I came when it came to the nation of gods and earths and what I see that's going on in the conscious community. We hear this, you know, certain channels, I'm not gonna say their names, but you know who they are. They teach the black woman is God every time. That's all they say. And then you have all these black women inside the comments and the reason why they love this person and send money in constantly oh i love you and all of this shit is because they're boosting their ego but i guarantee you it's few that are really going through the process of becoming god which is a hard fucking process you have to fight basically your lower self you have to fight your ego which is one of the most hardest fights that you will ever fight in this world i don't give a fuck whose other brothers of blood or crip how much guns he got that fight that you're gonna fight within yourself it's nothing compared to it and that's the fight that you have to go through to become god it, it was a process now a lot of five percenters know this already but then there are other five percenters that you know, when you hear the black man is God, they didn't really teach that, and, uh, you know, by nature. Yeah. But do you understand that you have to live up to that? 
that you have to become God. And that's a hard process. You have to look within yourself, the darkest corners inside of you, your egos, you know, it's so much. So that title, God, do we really understand what it means? Or is it just an ego trip for us? Now, I'm not going to front at a certain time we did need it to get our confidence built up. And that's why I think Elijah Muhammad and people like that came at a certain time to do something which was to get our confidence back because it was broken down to you. That's a whole different video. <laughs> the point is, after that, you have to become God and becoming God it's not a, it's not easy and personally i'm still on that journey because like i said a lot of a lot of five percenters probably have figured this out before but everybody learns at different stages if you look at flowers right you look like a group a group of flowers not all of them bloom at the same time you have ones that will bloom quicker than the other one but eventually all of them gonna bloom so people learn and, and realize things at a certain, and that's what, and one of the biggest reasons what maybe to make this video is this all this black woman is God and we're God and black people is this, and we just love to hear it, you know, the things we did in Egypt, the, all the great things that we did in Egypt and all that, but when you look in the communities and the way how people act, it's total opposite. There's no righteousness. You have to work for that righteousness shit. Which basically means you have to look within yourself and not project and constantly want to hear all this, you know, what the great things we did. So if we, we know we did all these great things, let's do it again. But it takes a process of getting out, you know, the things that we was taught. I mean, in the lessons, it was taught that we was, we was taught to eat the wrong foods mentally and physically. But like I said, that shit ain't easy. And a lot of people don't want to do it. So you just constantly want to hear that the black woman is God is this and the black man is God and this and all of this shit. And nobody wants to to really internalize it and read what that means and work at it. It's a process. And it's the process that I'm going through. And I tell you what, sometimes I feel like I'm going fucking insane because I'm fighting my ego. You know, the things that pop up, jealousy, envy, all these things that you have to slice their fucking heads off constantly, every day. Self-awareness, self-observation, all these things going to becoming God. So it might just sound good and, you know, end it off like this because I want to make a long video about it, but... Constantly hearing God's, yo, yo, I'm studying 120, 120 this, 120 that. But when you really start living 120 and not just studying 120, that's when you be really becoming God. And that shit, like I said, it's not easy. It takes time. It's nothing fast like a microwave. We live in this fast era, but it's a process. But, you know, like I said, a lot of people might notice already it, you know, really hit me. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Yes, the black woman is great. Yes, the, she's the queen. The black man is great. We're queen, but we need to really start acting like it and start working on it. Yes, it's hard. Yes, you're going to find things within you you don't like. But at the end, that's what alchemy is, right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching and here. Listen to me vent. Um, what you think? Uh, I'm not gonna go back and forth between oh, the black woman is God, the black. Woman. I believe we're all gods. And then at the same time, like I always say, what does God mean to you? Because everybody have a different meaning of what God is. Is God the first person on earth? Is God the uh, the creator of everything in existence? Is God that, that darkness, the nothingness, which is not really nothing. We just don't know what it is. And it came in a human. I mean, we could go on with this all fucking day. But I, what I do know is the fight is within the mind, man. 
The fight is within yourself. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Really appreciate y'all, the ones that do, the ones that have. And um, I'm out. Peace.